Okay, entering 16 Parkman Avenue, we have uh, the potential here for two uh, separate entrances. The home was previously set up with a kitchen upstairs on the second floor, as well as this gorgeous kitchen on the main. Um, so lots of opportunities abound here. Uh, you step into this spectacular kitchen, open concept dining room space, beautiful uh, mantle that uh, the seller added in here, and a traditional living room at the front of the house. Again, uh, the beautiful stained glass accent and this incredible uh, fireplace piece. It's not functional, but it sure is beautiful. And this is such a great house for entertaining. You've got the island with the bar stool seating, uh, plenty of cabinet space here, as you can see, nice pantry off to the side, uh, wine storage with the fridge. Uh, it does go all the way to the ceiling, which is a great feature as well. So tons of, tons of storage, beautiful stone countertops, built-in dishwasher, of course, microwave here. And then uh, one of my favorite features of this home is this incredible um, family room off the main floor. Look at that, access to the backyard through this sliding door. Love this floor, so beautiful, such a great detail. And then you've got a main floor bathroom. It is a three-piece bath, beautiful um, tile in here as well. Just love that. What everyone's looking for, main floor washroom. You can see out here into the backyard, we've got a deck space, uh, great for barbecues and seating, and then ample place uh, for more seating or uh, play. It is fully fenced for those with dogs or kids, and also the park out across the street is fantastic for a little more room to run. Okay, up here on the landing of the second floor, you can see that we have uh, three bedrooms. One bedroom is actually currently being used as a laundry room. It was previously a kitchen as well. Um, so it is possible to um, obviously put it back as a kitchen or easily convert back to a bedroom as well. It overlooks the backyard for nice uh, light coming in the back there. We've got a three piece bath with a beautiful stone floor, a little touch of exposed brick and a glass shower. And then we'll go into the really great size second bedroom. Some great lighting in here. It's nice and bright. Perfect for a kid's room or spare room. It would make a great office as well. And then this room at the front is also fantastic as a primary if you didn't want to have it up on the third story. Um, it's a really great size. It's got a closet over there in the corner, the beautiful uh, mantelpiece feature and lots of natural light coming in from uh, the street with the park right across. Kind of just tucked in the treetops. Up here on the third story, you'll find this incredible bright room overlooking the park at the front and you have the potential for a little uh, balcony off the flat roof at the back if you wanted. Right now it's being used as a uh, primary but also this side of the room is being used as a little office space and a gym space. Underneath this side of the third story is uh, easy access to plumbing if you wanted to add in a ensuite up here. It's really a great blank space, such a lovely room. Down here in the basement, we have this gorgeous bathroom with this large soaker tub absolutely love this floor. You can't really tell from this, but it's got almost a bit of a purple or lavender tone to it. Uh, fantastic place to unwind at the end of the day. Got ample storage here uh, with this vanity and another set of washer dryer. And then at the front of the house, we have this adorable um, bedroom or hangout spot. It'd be great for a teen. Nice bright room with that large window off the front of the house. And as you can see, it's just set up with a little day bed bedroom. Uh, really nice addition to the finished space in the basement. Ample storage at the back behind the washroom, um, extending underneath the addition off the main. So plenty of space for Christmas decorations and all those things that you don't need all year long. Little desk tucked in here as well. <laughs> 